today's video, I'm playing the Convergence mod, but I am only using God Slayer spells. These spells are extremely powerful and use Destin Death and are super fun to play with. With that being said, like and subscribe if you enjoy the video, and let's begin. All right, welcome to uh, what I believe is my... What playthrough is this? My fourth, I think? Let's just get right into it. I already know what I want to do. I want to do the God Slayer. I don't know what it's called. Is it God Skin? And I think we're going to go with... I'm going to go Enchanted. I feel like that's always a safe option. And then we're going to do... I don't know. We'll just say Death. Yeah, I kind of wonder where we're going to end up for starting place. Also, we got Blood Flame Dart. Burst. It's like combustion and blade. Now, did they change this? Oh, this weapon sucks. I do not like that animation at all. Okay, hold on. We are in Storm Hill. I'll use this just in case, but where are we? Oh, what are we doing over here? What is this weapon? It inflicts soul burn. I do not like this. Why does that feel so... What is that attack? Oh my god, I am not a fan. Okay, we gotta get a new weapon. I am not rocking with it. Why don't we do... Let's go here. That is gonna be the tibier... Tibia... Nelson dude. Hey, poor you. My goal is to not die. That's an obvious thing, but basically I'm trying to do it so that every time I play this mod, I die less and less. That's my goal, is to not die as much as I usually do. Let's go Scarab. Scarab is so, so safe. Can't go wrong with that. Why don't we say hello and test out our stuff on this little guy? Be good. Wait, I didn't take damage, but I took knockback. Oh. Okay, wait. Are you okay? Oh, that's actually pretty good damage. Okay, wait. He dropped a stone. I actually feel like we're pretty strong. Okay, let's go ahead. Yeah, we're gonna do this this tibia thing. I believe, I believe, I believe that it drops a combat remnant. Is that D or who is that? The village. I do not value my life. I'm about to go crazy on this tibia. Yeah, so the main reason why I'm doing this playthrough is because a lot of people were like, you should do God Slayer. So here we are. I have delivered. So far, we've done Blood Flame, God, or Blood Flame... A little bit of raw. Oh, Frost Witch. Uh, where did he go? Okay, so I think that my normal just attacks do a lot. Oh, that's really good damage. Okay, we're not doing very good on the whole not dying thing. Let's do this real fast. Dagger. Bam, 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 bam. And you thought I was gonna die. You said that that was dangerous. You're tripping, D. We did get one death root, which is quite cool. Probably won't be doing anything with it. Here it is. Turtles. These little guys. Or sorry, dogs. Dogs. Don't cancel me for that, please. Oh, it's an enchanted remnant. I was totally wrong. With that out of the way, I guess we should go... There is a tree over there that we could do. Let's do this. Okay, so here's the plan for weapons. I don't know if there's any custom ones, but I do know. We could get the godskin peeler, and then eventually we could could also get Malicus weapon. So that's kind of my like plan for my weapon. Unless I, I mean, I hope I could find something custom. You've got, bruh, not believe what I just witnessed. That is just messed up. Like it's cool, I guess, but though I like how it does inflict a little bit of like a, a black flame, even if I don't buff up. That's quite cool. I'm trying to think of where I'm even going right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the waypoint ruins because if my memory serves me correct, which it has one time already, there is the Selen person. She sells golden seed, sacred tear, and an enchanted remnant. So we are going to go ahead and go down here, do a quick boss fight. Okay, let's calm it down a bit. I need to find a way to hit him, but like... There we go. Actually, I probably... I'm gonna die here, I feel. Like, I actually think I'm gonna die. No! Okay, we'll come back. It's just... It's not that the enemy is hard. It's just like, how do you hit this? Okay, that was kind of bull. I ain't gonna lie. No way is this hitting me. Okay, heal. And 
There we go. All right, so yeah, it's uh, Golden Seed, Sacred Tear, and then Enchanted Remnant for... So we'll come back here because we actually don't have enough runes just yet, but we can come back and get those. I actually don't even know where I'm supposed to be going right now. I need to check that out in a second. I forget who it is. I hope it's not a cemetery. Let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, it's a Black Knife Assassin. Of course it is. Yeah, we should be able to just... Okay, we are destroying this poor guy. We'll do a quick heal for safety. And there's a death root here. Black flame orb, scouring black flame, soul burn, and burrowing black flame. Blood loss and soul burn. Uh, it doesn't have... I don't think it has a uh, custom ash. Yeah, that's not custom. 14 decks and we can use it. We might be able to work with that, actually. I think we can get rid of dart, but I do want to check out... Sends a small wisp of black flame toward an enemy that then burrs inside their body. And it deals... Okay, so that's like a damage over time. Got it. So what about this one? This one basically does the same thing. Let's go ahead and test it out on something. I guess we could do all oh, that damage is not great oh i missed there we go no there's a little beetle here there he's coming burrowing black flame oh it's already doing decent damage actually wait whoa it actually is doing good damage what this oh wow the damage wait what the hell was that that animation was really weird okay wait it's he's tweaking right now okay you know what i'm coming back for you man i can definitely do it but i think i need a little bit more heals and so forth okay so we can go here and i believe we saw a memory stone as well we'll come back here for the memory stone and the enchanted revenant okay so we're gonna go ahead and quickly do this uh erd tree avatar right over here Ooh. Such good damage. Oh my god. And uh, killing these guys will give me a remnant that I can craft into like a fire tier or something. Usually they give like two or three different remnants for your flask. So it's really, really good to do these. Go ahead and soul burn and then burrowing. Then we'll do this. We should be buffed up and all good to go. I think it dies. Oh, wow. Beautiful. We want to go ahead and look for Int Faith. We have these two tiers active now. We can go ahead and teleport to any of these locations. I think we're at Stormhill already. So we should do... Let's do Weeping. Go ahead and take on Margit. We'll do an early Margit this time. I feel pretty confident. I mean, he is stronger. Like, he's not like... They're a little bit faster or they're slower depending on the attack. But I feel pretty good about this. I think I'm actually going to change my tier that I have, though. I don't really think we need the one that gives us the free hit, basically. I don't know exactly how much extra damage we're going to do. So we have 30 four two six five that's actually a pretty good change full burn in the burrowing fight and soul blood there we go there's the explosion I don't remember which one's which so i'm just gonna keep on doing them i don't know how i dodged that here we go one more of those into this we are destroying this poor dude Ow. Knew you were going to do that attack. Ow. Ouch. Oh, no way. All right, I guess we're doing this again. That is unfortunate. I really cannot believe that we died there. Growing black flame. And then we do growing black flame into soul burn. Ouch. Oh my God. I'm so bad at this video game. Okay, this is the one. I thought I had. Shut up, shut up, bro, shut up, bro. Okay, I'm kind of having a massive skill issue at the moment. Okay, there we go. I finally rolled that. Finally, it only took like three to four tries. What we could do is we can teleport to the south tree of Leonia, I think. And then what we can do is go to Raya. I think that's the plan. So we are here. We'll go ahead and try to take this guy out. He can actually be a lot harder than the avatars, if I'm being honest. Oh, wow. He actually dodged that. Yeah, there's that. Oh, what the? It stunned him. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's gonna give me what I'm looking for. I think it's gonna give me the fire tier. Never mind.
stupid. I'm not going to let you get the chance. I was completely wrong. Okay, we're at the purified ruins. I know that there's a chest in this area. I'm going to imagine heirloom remnant. That's actually quite good. So that can be used to increase one of our stats with the talisman. I want to use this, but like I don't really want to go in the decks. But I guess I don't have to if I use the heirloom. So we can do Volcano Banner and then we can do Liernia. The Spirit Caller Cave. I know what cave that is. I don't know where it's at, but I know it's the one where you fight. I think you fight Godskin Duo, but it's like spirit form and it's one after another rather than at the same time. If I go to Atlas a different way, not through the lift, she'll end up in a different spot. And I actually do not know where that spot is. So I'm just going to do the easy route, which is taking the lift because she'll end up right outside of the lift. It sounds so strange stupid but jumping was a huge deal for Elden Ring because they really I feel like they they made really good use of verticality Jesus I can't speak all right so we rest here it's gonna be a church that we'll stop by okay let's hope that we can get through here without taking too much damage catapults and stuff can be kind of annoying I'm wondering where in Volcano Manor that's gonna be kind of a weird spot to have it unless I'm missing something that just seems weird I would think that I'm like shocked that like Malkith doesn't have anything but I guess we'll find out right about now so from my other playthroughs if i needed to do tanis quest it would like tell me you know so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to quickly like exhaust all of this like i'll join i'll make sure just that like i don't think i need to do the quest at all but i'm going to go ahead and check just you never know i want to make sure that it's not in this room. does not seem to be the case so my next best guess let's go ahead and take this path then honestly godskin noble is a fight that i'm pretty shit at but we'll go ahead and just do it or at least give it a shot or at least it once we get the shortcut it won't even be a big deal if we die Ow, that's kind of cheating if you ask me. I better not hit me. Okay. Full burn, burning black flame. Okay, let's see if I can work this out. Dude, our damage is really good, actually. Okay, he hurts a bit. This is the scary part. Oh god, what the? Okay, I think I can do this. Okay, I do not like staying close to this guy at all. Come on. I believe. Okay, I'm waiting for Black Flame Bleed. I'm playing this so like dumb, but it never works. Okay, that sucks, but okay. I'm playing this like a sissy, but I'm kind of scared of this guy. I won't even lie. God, that attack is so scary. Glad I dodged that. Oh, guess that works. Godson Stitcher, Glowing Rune of Black Flame, Shimmering Relic, Black Flame Mortar, Blessing of Gloam, Ritual, and Noble Presence. Let's check these out real fast, why don't we? Increase all holy damage you deal by 5%, decreasing FP. That's just a good buff in general. Uh, I don't think Burst is the move. That out of the way, the next thing that we want to do is the Divine Tower of Lernia. Yeah, we're going to rush this because we can get more spells and i really want more spells also we need to test these out ritual is a vanilla spell this blessing i think is just like the black flame protection but a little bit different but i want to test out this oh my god that is so sick it's like a i mean it's exactly what it says but that's so cool that's so cool dude i really like that all right let's speed run this area Okay, I actually really like this spell because I can just do this and it's like a get off me. Lasts a pretty good amount of time too. All right, side of grace. Now, if I remember correctly from one of my last playthroughs, there was some stuff. All right, hold on. There it is. I could be tweaking. Oh, here it is. This is what I was looking for. Or not. Sorry, I guess I'm completely just tweaking right now. I think it's actually here that I need to do it. And this area is where. Let me go ahead and defeat balls and then I'll go over there. Full burn and burn. Go. I'm going to do one of these. I'm going to be a little careful here. Damn. Beautiful. One down, one to go. I don't know how. I mean, I'm imagining he fell, I guess, but I did not see him fall. Go ahead and use this blessing. I think we're good to go. We're doing pretty solid damage. Ooh. There we go this honor oh whoa 
Okay, I think this is my favorite spell so far. You might just die. Maybe one more for the road. Nice. Okay, so I need to go down there. Again, I do not know if I need to do the Ronnie quest in order to get to where this rune is. I kind of hope not. I just did a playthrough where I did the Ronnie quest line. Had the freezing fog dragon and then was also trying to figure out where it was on the map that I was looking for. But we did figure it out. We don't have a lantern. Okay, the damage that they do is not as bad as like it could be. This is actually doable. Kind of scary, but we did manage. Okay, so I just got to keep on going through here and basically kill the snails as fast as possible i would like to there we go next one should come here I'm gonna give myself a moment here that was very scary i think we have this There we go. And then I think the snail is somewhere. There you go. I'm sorry, man. We did it. Oh my God. Oh my God, Dust Bolt. I know what that spell is. God Slayer Devotion, Wrath of the Queen. We got 90,000 souls. Increase total FP by 25%, lowers the FP cost by 20%, increases your poise, but lowers HP by 50%, and lowers all non-spell damage by 75%. Each time you cast a God Slayer incantation, you are healed by 5% of your total HP and 30 stamina for points are restored. Increase all holy damage you deal by 5% and reduces the cost by 20% but reduces total FP by 95%. Each time you strike an enemy with a weapon attack, you gain a stackable effect which increases the FP cost of spells by 10% and increases the casting speed of by 5 per attack. When you cast a spell, it clears all previous stacks and heals you for- what the hell? These are insane. Pretty sure it's just over here. Again, I'm not 100% sure. I'm just trying to follow like the theme which is God Slayer, right? Full burn and the rest. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Got a bleed proc there. Should be free at this point. Okay, never mind. Hold up. Full burn. There we go. I wonder, it's probably gonna be like 50k. 30k? That's not even close to what I was looking for. After quite a bit of uh, an around, we have finally made it to what I assume is going to be the boss. Things are really annoying. And throwing black flame. Ow. Oh my god. Wait, how did that miss? Oh, I did not know you could follow up that. Okay. Yeah, that was a really bad attempt. Oh my gosh, I've never had issues with like hitting these guys. But right now it's bad. Oh no, that was bull. Okay, this is it. 100%. We're going to dodge this. Oh, okay. Oh, look at this. So this sickle increases the damage of God Slayer incantations by 10%. So right now, all I'm doing is I'm basically just going around and trying to uh, get weapon upgrades. That's my main... I just want to get like really powerful. And then after that, I'll probably kill Radon because I need to trigger that for Ronnie. You know what? I'm going to kill this guy mainly because I need a side of grace. Because I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of stuff, a bunch of seeds and stuff that I need to go ahead and like upgrade oh wow that's a lot of damage okay come on give me a break there we go finally and lastly i'm actually gonna grab this because oh it's a smith thing never mind thought it was a somber and we're basically done and we just kind of keep moving and done that is the gauntlet of the red main castle done now we gotta do one of my favorite fights it took a bad boss and made it really good Look at that entrance too. Full burn. Ooh, I'm actually taking some damage here. Oh no, I, I chugged the wrong blast. All right, take two. That attack's crazy. There's the rock again. That should be it. Heal. Dead. Oh, also, I kind of forgot this whole time I haven't been really 
doing any armor stuff we're just gonna switch over to the godskin apostle armor and now we have some more drip we look actually a lot better malchus set godskin noble yeah we can do godskin noble malchus set would probably go crazy all right we're done all we're gonna do load him as usual and then we just run on in as far as what he's shooting at i got no idea but yeah i mean we're melting this poor dude Yeah, we do a lot of damage. Oh. That was a really clean Radon fight. Also do that while we're at it. Very clean Radon fight. With that done, I took the teleporter from one of the Erd trees to down here. So I didn't even have to go through like the normal route. So all I did was I just killed the Erd tree sentry. And now we're going to do this little thing right here. What I'll do is I'll give him, I'll allow him to cast spells, but he's not going to be able to cast. Uh, and nice punches, man. Nice punches. There we go. Okay, so from my understanding, all we have to do is get the Finger Slayer Blade, and that is it. That is what we need, and then we'll get the statue from Ronnie. We get this, we teleport to Ronnie, and then we teleport to the Divine Tower of Liernia. Flip it, and hopefully we'll be good to go. Okay, so I just figured out I didn't have to do all of that, basically. Basically, I need to kill her scepter. She will drop it. I had to check around and do some research. But yeah, that's how I get the statue. So I didn't have to do the whole Ronnie thing at all. I'm taking a wild guess and assuming that this is going to lead to the boss. And hopefully the rune that I'm looking for. I think I should just spam these orbs. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna heal for safety. There we go. Good finish. Are you going to drop it? No, that's the godskin armor. So it must be in the tower. Is this godskin noble armor any better? Nah. Looks like it's going to be at the top of the... Hour. I don't think there's gonna be anything else, like no more enemies, but yeah, this is a long elevator, I see. First mark of death and shimmering rune of black flame. Black firestorm, black flame wave, god slayer sickle, full annihilation. What the? Fires a small imprectile that afflicts them with a curse. This is just another thing to put on people. I wonder if this is good. So we're going in a little bit of a wacky order here, but it should be fine. Now this is where we usually go through, because we usually go through Linksy Acts. I feel like we're already here, so we might as well just continue going. Okay, so this sickle actually does a lot more damage compared to my actual weapon. I think we'll take the bottom route for pathway. So we just went ahead and did this. Go ahead and do this little guy. Okay. So, and do the blessing. We're fine. Okay, we should be able to sickle this guy. And once we do, he should take a lot of damage. Missed a lot of those. That's a huge explosion. That's so sick. We're gonna wait for the bite maybe. I think that's the safest opportunity. Oh, I don't even know what just happened. Like, okay, that's fine. That was kind of a bad run. I think I'm good. There we go. There we go. That was a pretty clean fight. That chomp attack is really easy to punish. Put that out of the way. We can do that. Do that. And then what we should do is go back. We're going to go ahead and uh, quickly offer the bell bearing and buy some of these colossal ones and then we should oh wait there's a memory stone hold up and then we should be able to go ahead and upgrade one of our weapons to plus nine okay so i'm not really sure what happened for some reason i didn't record malekith or something happened with the footage but i first tried him that's all i know based on the death counter but you're just gonna have to believe me on this one unfortunately this is the one time i missed footage malekith gauntlet malekith armor four percent reduced weapon stamina cost i don't know if that's the move what about stats? Oh, well, we can get this. It's 25 strength. Actually, I don't think I've used this armor before, even though I really like Malagas. Also, my next planned playthrough is a gravity playthrough. So if you have any interest in watching that, you'd probably like, like and subscribe. Maybe comment if you're feeling extra spicy. But I will be doing one of every playthrough because I love this mod. I believe once I get to those pillars is when the fight starts. Please. And one of these. 
Oh my god, the damage. I'll, you know what, I'll tank that if that, that means I get some extra damage. Tank it again if it means I get some extra damage. Oh, I'm dead. I think at least. Nah, nah, I'm chilling actually. Alright, give me a second to get situated. Ow, ow, heal. Don't mind me. Just playing horribly. Okay. That was kind of mess. I ran into it. It's cool. We still win these though. No, you outplayed me. Uh oh. No way. I've died four times or three times at this boss, and it's all my fault. But now, this is the end of the road. As long as you don't kill me, we chill. Oh, it's dead. There we go. Oh my god. Third keystone, Remembrance of the Dragon Lord. Thank you so much. All right, with that out of the way, the only thing left to do is kill Fire Giant, Scarred, Godfrey, and Radagon Eldebeast. Wait a second. I'm missing something. I still haven't fought freaking Morgoth. Hold up. Okay, I'm, I'm already throwing. Not good. I would have really liked to get off and attack. Okay. Am I kind of early to phase transition? Oh my god, that was close. Bam. Oh god. Give me an opportunity, please. And... Okay, thank you. Alright. This, this, blessing again. Big damage. Big damage. Got that's chill. And bam. Bam. Come on. Give me something. Bam. And soul annihilation. Soul burn. Dead. Beautiful. And we are in the end game. Only three bosses are in the way of our God Slayer journey. Okay, my goal is sub 20 deaths. All right. I hate that attack. Oh, oh. I mean, like two seconds here. Ooh, I'm throwing. I should, like, this fight should be very free as long as I don't do anything too stupid. And one more. Dead. The end game is near. This is one of the, like, I like this boss, but he can be kind of annoying. My turn. Okay, thank you. All right. The, I'm trying to think. Our last death, I'm pretty sure, was on Dragonlord. I'm not worried about phase one Godfrey, but I am kind of tripping on the. I haven't really been using this. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'm just going to call it the side. And big hit. I get a quick heal in before I don't get the chance to. I think we get a stagger right here. Maybe not. I'm throwing. Or more like I'm getting thrown. Put that on for into. Nice. I'll pop the Lord one while we're at it. The rest of them are kind of whatever. All right. So I'm not going to use my physic until Elden because Radagon stays should be pretty quick. And yup. Bam. Into oh, I missed those. One of those. That plus that. A quick healing. There we go. We even got a hit on the way out. Oh, he's not doing stars. What the? I'm gonna heal. Not that we really need it, but our ritual sword and shield will thank us for that. It's reworked, so it's actually not nearly as annoying as before. Okay, look at that. It, I mean, it barely even bothered us at all. It actually didn't bother us at all. We're like. And that's it. 17 deaths. That is my personal best so far. Personal best is 17. That was a very fast Elden Beast Radagon. Okay, so as usual, I always rate these playthroughs. I'm gonna go with a uh, 8.5 out of 10. My only gripe was that 
the like i felt really powerful the problem was is the enchantments at least in my case i felt were too big a trade-offs to be worth it so that's about it if you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one wait for it wait for it bam let's go